This is Deja Vu, and here we are back at Rainbow Fashion Week Presents Artifacts. And I got the CEO of Rainbow Fashion Week, Jag. What's up, baby? What's up, Deja Vu? Pleasure to have you here. Oh, my God. I'm so glad to be here with you tonight because the last time I wanted to interview you, you were so busy. <laughs> you were going all over the place, and I definitely understand. That was one of the most beautiful events I have ever attended. I just wanted you to know that, and thank you for letting me be a part of it. Thank you for joining us. It was a pleasure. I'm so glad I reached out to you. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. So I want to ask you, and I want you to tell these people out here, how did you come up with Rainbow Fashion Week? Can you just tell them a little bit about that? Okay, so um, I launched my line called Jag & Co. in 2013. And um, it is a line that is inspired for women who are gender fluid, such as myself. And so when I was backstage, I noticed all that it took for the stylist to get the, 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 you know, the looks together and the makeup artist coming in doing things that I didn't even think of being a designer. Like, what did I want these you know, models to look like? And so it took a lot of creative interpretation. And when I found myself on the runway for my final wave and thank you, I realized that, you know, wow, the show is really behind the scene. And wouldn't it be great if people could see the art of fashion and see all of the creatives that are behind the scenes in fashion. And so, you know, Rainbow Fashion Week evolved from, from that the very next year, 2014. And I was determined that I was going to do one week or eight days of fashion, include our entire community, include an opportunity to honor people that most people had not been paying attention to, but they were doing things within their community for years and going unrecognized. And, uh, and that I wanted to do something technology related and something related to film as it relates to fashion. Right. And so that was the birth of Rainbow Fashion Week. I tell you, you have really started a phenomenal event here. I can, I, like I told you when I first met you, I see this just going all over the country. I mean, because for you to start something like this and no one else even thought of that. I mean, that is really going to start a big movement in our community, and I think you're doing very well with that. And a lot of people, now I know you're a designer now, a lot of people didn't know that you are a designer as well. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Right. Well, my line is called Jag & Co. And like I said, in 2013, I launched Jag & Co. But the reason people didn't know that I was a designer is because Rainbow Fashion Week takes so much to put together, bringing the people together, the designers together. And so I said, well, since I don't have a lot of time, I might as well give Jag & Co. one day within Rainbow Fashion Week. And that's kind of when people actually get to see what it is that I actually do. Well, I definitely have seen your work, and I think it's absolutely amazing. And I love you for what you're doing, and I want to thank you so much for what you're doing in our community because it took somebody like you to really put you know, Rainbow Fashion Week, you know, the gay community, LGBT out on the map, you know what I mean? So that means a lot to everybody. And I'm speaking for me and everybody else that's in the community. And I cannot wait until you take this to Atlanta, Chicago, LA, all across the country, because that is definitely going to be a big movement. Well, you know, we got to get the word out because next year is our fifth year. It's June 15th through 22nd. And we're going to have some more phenomenal shows photography shows, you know, we might even do something on a boat next year. Everything about Rainbow Fashion Week is not your average fashion week. I can say that, it's not. Right, so don't come, <laughs> don't come looking for a straight runway show. We really want you to be entertained in the art of fashion and that's so important to us. So we gotta help spread the word. You guys see this video, share it. Even if you share it one time, a share is much more important than a like. So the more we can get the message out about what it is that we do, you know for a fact, we had, uh, we had an amputee that walked the runway. Beautiful, beautiful Maria, oh my God. Um, we had three deaf models, and everyone's how do deaf models walk? They feel the vibration on the runway. Exactly. We had a straight guy that reached out to us, Antonio Brinson, and he was a 17 year um, army vet. And he asked us, would we please just give him an opportunity to make his dream come true? And Rainbow Fashion Week is about making dreams come true. So we came up with the hashtag, hashtag who are we to say no? And that's pretty much what it meant. 
we want everyone to feel a part of Rainbow Fashion Week and to be able to see a representation of themselves on the runway. And so this doesn't mean, it doesn't matter what color you are, you can be black, blue, green, purple, red, no matter who you are, ginger fluid, ginger on fluid, black, white, green, come on out, share the word, get it out there, and be a part of it next year. We're coming back in 2018, right? That's right, so download the mobile app, Android or iPhone, Rainbow Fashion Week, or RFW, get it, it's free. You get all the updates, models, designers, any information you wanna know. Um, we do about eight designers per show, so you gotta get your information in quick. We have about 80 to 85 models per show, so everybody gets an opportunity to walk that runway, which is important. Absolutely, and you know what? I was, this was my first time being a part of it, and I enjoy everything about it. I just wanna let you know that and again, thank you so much for giving me that opportunity, and I look forward to working with you in the future. Well, we're going to be doing some stuff soon, so I am definitely looking forward to working with Deja Vu. Um, I put a call out. I needed some help for another event. Deja Vu and Bella, who's on the other side of this right now, you know, they have now embraced us, and that's what's really great, really embracing the family of what Rainbow Fashion Week is because it's more than just fashion. Right. We're actually a family, and right. we come to support each other, and that's very that's important. Great. So thank you, Bella. Well, thank you, Bella. Thank you so much, Jack, for the interview. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you and working with you more in the future. Thank you. This is Deja Vu. Remember, always be you and be unique. Talk to you later, boo-boo.